So for your barbecue pigstail, you need your pigstail, of course. I have here some guava jam, I have some ketchup, I have some blended green seasoning, I have some ginger powder, I have myself here some jerk seasoning, homemade mango chutney, some barbecue sauce, fresh parsley, brown sugar, and a sorrel bear. And I'll be using all of this for my barbecue pigstail. So guys, salt is the preservative that they use on your pig tail, and you don't want all of that excess salt. So the first thing to do is to boil your pig tail in some fresh water for about two or three times. So that's what we're doing now. So our pig tail has been boiling for the last 20 minutes. So now we're going to transfer our pig tail to our pressure cooker. Cause you know you need that soft bone. Yeah. So here we have our pressure cooker with some water and we're going to add some green seasoning to this, adding to the flavor of our pig tail. And we're going to add our pig tail here. So we added our pig tail to the water and what we want to do now is to boil it for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're going to add it to our sauce. So see you in a few. It's now time for your sauce and what you're going to do is combine all your sauce ingredients in a pan. So I went ahead and poured in my barbecue sauce. I'm now going to add my ketchup, I'm going to add some mango chutney, some sugar. I have some jerk seasoning. We're just adding some flavor to our barbecue sauce. I have my jam. This is guava jam. I have some ginger powder. No, ginger is usually good, especially when you're dealing with pork, okay? Add some ginger powder, like a teaspoon. And I'm going to add some bear, some sorrel bear, and this is adding to the flavor of the barbecue sauce. Don't worry about it, it's gonna taste good, okay? So you combine all this together. Our sauce is now ready guys and what we want to do is just set this aside until our pig tail is ready. So guys, this is our pig tail after pressuring for about 30 minutes in our pressure cooker. So now we're going to add it to our barbecue sauce. Now what you want to do is just to coat your pig tail inside of your sauce. Ensure that you touch every bit of it with that sauce. Now what you want to do is to transfer your pig tail to a baking dish and we're just going to seal our barbecue sauce to our pig tail. Some person will just have it just like this from the sauce, but I like it when the barbecue sauce is sealed to my pig's tail and I'm going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now let's add this bad boy to the oven guys. There you go guys, your barbecue pig's tail done right here in Moya Moy's kitchen. Do enjoy guys. That's it for today guys. Thank you so much for joining and staying until the end. Big up your nice clean self. Yes guys, I absolutely love the love and support that I've been receiving over the past few weeks. And guys, if you have not done so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment below, okay? Drop it down below. Tell me what next you'd like to see me 
here, right here, right here in Moy Moy City. I'm on the road to 3K subscribers and I want you to help me get there. So guys, tell a friend to tell another friend so that friend can tell another friend. Until then, goodbye!